What up, GMG babies? I'm back with another video weight loss update. Um, right now, I'm sitting outside of my kid's school in the long line that we always have. So I decided to pick up the camera to talk to you guys for a moment um, to update you guys from Monday's doctor's appointment and how my mental been since then. Um, so y'all can know, like, step by step, like, I feel like if I feel the way, I'm going to talk to y'all. So first things first, I've been doing um, my lemon water, um, which I always do water, but I just added a little razzle-dazzle lemon. I'm going to add some cucumbers um, this weekend. But anyways, I'm going to talk to y'all. When I change anything up, I'm going to talk to y'all. So the changes that I have been making is I've been working out for the last three days. Tuesday, I've been working. I worked out for an hour. Wednesday, 45 minutes. And Sunday, 30. I don't know why I'm going lesser and lesser with my time. But maybe I feel like I'm over like working myself so right away. And it's just like, let me just woo a little bit and like take it easy on myself. Because when you work out, you also can strain and stress yourself out. So, okay. Bam. So, first things first is, okay, I'm doing the living waters. Um, I'm working out. And I lost three pounds, y'all. And so, that's cool. I lost three pounds. Good. But I don't want to be weighing myself every day. Because that'll make you feel a way like, I ain't losing my weight. What's going on? So, bam. Because um, my start weight was 271. Now, I'm 268. So, that's a good thing. Okay. Um, but I'm not weighing myself every day. I'm about to literally start weighing myself every me. I said every once a week. Okay, next time when I do this, these videos, my update videos is you know I'm um I'm gonna have like a notebook. Um, I'm gonna have some notes because I hate being all over the place because I want to say everything at one time and it's not gonna be right. I mean, <laughs> so bam. Um, and I'm and I also been carb counting and. Not really bad, like not to where I'm like making it a thing, to where I'm like nervous and jittery because I don't want to do all that. And then, then it makes it hard for me to really focus on the main thing, you know. And the main thing is when you doing anything like, like what well, the main, well, okay, the bigger picture pretty much. Like when you working out and getting self inside and out together is your mental be right too. So I don't want to start doing all this and be mentally messed up and then i'm on camera talking to you guys fumbling them all over myself and then feeling like i owe y'all this this body you know what i'm saying or y'all expecting me to be at a, you know at a certain weight and looking a certain way for you guys so no it's a me situation i decided to come on the camera to show you guys that i'm normal i'm human you know what i'm saying like i have feelings i have emotions i have a mind that can mentally mess me up if I let outsiders in to where, first of all, I'm, I'm letting, letting y'all in anyway, so let me stop. But not into where y'all gonna mentally make me feel bad because if I see a negative comment or somebody, you know, saying something rude, you're gonna get reported and blocked. So that's that. But, um, and I do see a lot of people who break down and be this image for social media, whether it's YouTube. Facebook or whatever, TikTok, and they hate themselves because they like, I'm painting this picture of me being XYZ and now they in this mental prison because they want to be like everybody else, but then they and then they lose themselves. I'm not doing that. So, anyways, that's no here nor there here. What I'm gonna do is for Risha. This is everything I'm doing right now is for me from the inside on out. So why I want to have surgery as well too, you guys. Because I have an eating disorder. And this surgery do it's not a ban it's not a band-aid to cover it up. And it's not a quick fix either. So you have to still work out. That's why they, you know, my insurance, I do understand now they give you that year time frame because I can change my mind within, you know, six months and be like, I'm good. Or of course, what the dietitian said to me every month when I do check in for my weight, and if I don't no no no. I so when I check in with her the six month mark when I do come in, I better be what I didn't told her I was, you know, excuse me, I was. And so it's like, you know, I'm not going to get it. I mean, I'm not going to get my mental so messed up and lost and caught up in all of this because I'm going to be so hurt and messed up. 
um, and just scaring myself to death. Like, no, I'm not gonna make this a, you know, a scare, a scary thing for myself because it could be that, you know, especially if you're not a person that's a gym person or working on your um, body before or you never did this before. So it's kind of scary, you know, it can be scary. Okay, so um, I have. I have my sweat um, being on still. I do my waters, been drinking waters. I'm just eating healthier, healthier and eating smaller portions. Um, I've been hungry. And to be honest, <clears throat> I don't even crave sweets unless I'm like, I really, really, really want it. But if I get my foods, I'll be okay. Like, I don't. Craving sweets is crazy right now for me. And it's also like, it's not a thing for me no more. Like I can eat just some food and I'll be okay. And thing is you can eat whatever you want to for real, but you got to eat it in moderation. And also realize what is good for your body and what's not. By me having acid reflexes and GERD already and gastritis, I know what I can't eat. So I'm already in a, I'm already trapped with a little stomach anyway. Cause if I eat the wrong things, I throw up. Or it comes off the back end. So, um, yeah, I'm going to work for, forward to um, starting, you know, like I said, eating better for sure. And, and keep it going consistently. Because um, I feel better. Like when you eat better, you feel better too. I ain't going to keep y'all in for too long, y'all. Because I don't be ranting, you know, talking y'all head off. But anyways, y'all, so I've been working out and I might and I might do like four days off the week and then let my body rest because you need a resting day too. I've been watching all the videos as well to keep me, you know, going as well, like, you know, motivational videos. Um, so yeah. And then it's like to start losing weight and then gain it all back, it makes you want to give up. So it's like, that's why I'm going for the surgery as well. And it's like, I, you know, who want to do that and then get to start over? You know what I'm saying? It'd be crazy. But also having a the surgery, you got their the pros and cons too. Um, You just got to do what you have to do that's necessary for anything that you do. Like right now, I'm, I'm trying to make sure I'm doing what I need to do to lose weight. Now, if I see and if I make it, on this journey that I'm on now. I mean, if my body say, and if God, God, see, God got the last say so. So I'm gonna let him do what he have to do. And I've been praying on it. If he see fit for me to have his surgery, I'm gonna have it. If he don't, I won't. Um, So that's what I'm gonna do with, I'm not gonna even ask you guys, should I have it? I'm not going to, you know, talk to too many people because a lot of people would be like, oh no. You just want to get an easy way out of it. But it's like a lot of people around here having BBLs and tummy tucks without even doing the, the inside first and then worry about the outside appearance. And that's what everybody wants, the outside appearance. But in the inside, they all messed up and broken and hurt. So that's why I'm so happy that I'm self-healing inside and out. So when I do take that leap of faith with having that procedure, which I ain't that big, and y'all can see on my videos, I ain't all out of shape and busted, but I do feel like for me, I want to look good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy me some nice workout gear for my home. Um, I'm going to do my hair. Well, I'm going to get my hair done this time, but moving forward, I'm going to keep my hair, you know, did up because, you know, life been life in y'all. But I love to keep my hair done and my lashes on. But when I do work out, and since it's going to be a thing for me, I'm not going to do my face too much with my lashes and my eyeliner and then, like, my eyebrows. Because I want to make sure after I sweat so hard, I can take me a good old shower and just clean my face really good. Excuse me, really good. So, um, yeah. So, I'm not going to do my lashes. But my hair is going to stay laid. You know, going to stay did up and laid. And I'm having me some nice workout gear on. I'm going to be in my own home. I mean, my comfort of my own home but i don't care i want to do it that's what's going to motivate me to do it to you know to to have on a workout gear and to look really cute you know record myself so i can see progress too you know what i'm saying it's not about just like oh let me just look good doing it no i just you know i like to see myself 
progress. Like I like to see where I was at. And then when my progress come, I'd be like, dang, I did that, you know. And I'm not a person who likes to work out with nobody. I don't. I, you know, I came to realize to realization of that, that I don't want to work out with nobody. I don't. Because everybody working on different things on their body and then they mental be everywhere else, you know. So it's like I'm on the same page with me, so I get me. But I you know, I look like a little, you know, high schooler or something with this little poof ball at the top of my head. It looks it's so small and little. But life been life, and like I was about to say, kids been kidding, school been schooling, this journey been journaling. Um everything just been just doing his thing like i've been just you know nerves been nerving so i'm trying to create this balance y'all and I, and i gotta write down my um write down some notes like i was saying if i didn't say it write down some notes so you guys can you know watch me grow because i'm not doing it for y'all or i'm not doing it for nobody else but self so I, cause I see a lot of people, I watch everything. I'm just the type of person that keeps quiet. I just keep quiet, but I watch everything. <clears throat> um, So if I ain't tell you my health condition, that's why I got to make sure I'm jotting down notes. I got GERD, gastritis, GERD, gastritis, and acid. So when I talk too much, eat too fast, swallow too fast, like I'm talking now, my throat get raspy and hoarse. Even if I do like lemon, lemons and pineapples, any fruits, citrus, anything, oranges, give, makes my throat, my uh, GERD act up. Definitely if I swallow too fast or talk while I chew, makes my throat act up. But y'all got to look up GERD and y'all can see what that is. And then y'all can come back and y'all can better much relate. You know, y'all gonna relate to it and, and, and you know, y'all can see where I'm coming from on that. But anyways, um, and you know, also, like I said, my health conditions, it'll, like, it'll go away completely. And that's what I want. It's, so it's not about just looking good because, you know, I'm, I'm already looking good. I'm already that. But I just want to feel good in the inside as well. So um, I think that'll be it for today. Because I told y'all I'm working out, right? I lost three pounds and don't go on a scale every day. Eat better, make better choices at eating. Make it a, a thing um, on my to-do list. Make Jot down some notes. I'm just going back. Y'all, I'm backtracking. Jot, jot down some notes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because Greedy got a soccer game too today. And Maya got um, practice, dance practice. So, yeah. Um, um, hmm. Is that it? Because I know that's all. That's it. That's all. Because I wanted you guys to realize that. When you're working on yourself, it's not about nobody else. And it's not about nobody else. And God gonna will God will and in and and will and do and it will set you down. And slow you down. The most high, whatever you believe in, whatever you think that God name, whatever, he'll set you down and slow you down and put you right in your place. Um, where he wants you to be. So with that being said, you guys, um, stay encouraged, stay positive, stay blessed, and stay focused on your goals, your dreams, whatever you got <clears throat> that you got going on for you, for yourself. Do it for self. So make sure y'all stop the video. Go like this video, please. Thank you. Go subscribe. And, you know, hopefully that I have you guys to watch me on my journey. Um, for self-care, self-love, self, everything for self, right? So this ain't for nobody else but myself. And not, like I said, not for you guys to comment, you know, a couple months later, I told you you wasn't going to make it. You know what I'm saying? So that's not what I'm here for. I'm just here to let y'all know everybody don't do it for the world. And I'm one of the people that does it for self. I Because I used to do it for the world. And I learned my lesson. God slowed me down. He whooped on me. He showed me that it's saying for the world. It's for you. For you. For you. You you, you know what I'm saying? 
So, anyways, um, yeah. Stay focused, y'all. Don't let nobody trick you out your shoes. And also, um, stay tuned to another video. Because I'm about to say something else, but I ain't want to say it too much. Not too much. Because I'll come back on here sometime this week and I'll talk again, give you another update. Or whatever I got to talk about, I'll come back on here. So I love you guys. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe like I was saying. And, you know, join my join me on my journey. Period. 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 Uh, so I'm out, y'all. See y'all later.